Hey, this is Marcus Washington from NTC Media with the GW um, wrapped up. The Revolutionary scored an 83-79 overtime win over Davidson. It was a game where both teams, especially offensively, did what they like to do. Uh, I felt like Davidson all day not only got to their first actions, they got to their second and third actions and pretty got to them pretty effectively. They did shoot 47.7% uh, from um, the field. They were led by uh, Grant Hoffman's, I believe it was 24 points. 24 points on 10 of 17 shooting. Uh, Huffman definitely was win, uh, hitting, uh, hitting the trails uh, pretty good today. For, for GW, uh, Garrett Johnson had 23 points, had some big wins. He shot eight for 16 from the field, five for nine from three, and James Bishop uh, shot eight for 16 also, four for seven from three. He scored 20 points, and uh, Buchanan chipped in with 16 points and eight rebounds. So again, this is one of these games where neither one of the opponent kind of got away from each other um, that big. I think the largest lead for Davidson was eight points. And that was at, um, I think, it early in the first half. Uh, yeah, leads, uh, 8, 23, yeah. And then, no, it's eight different leads. My fault, my fault. The largest lead that, uh, yeah, Davidson had was eight points. The largest lead that GW had was five points. That's not exactly the best um, the best video wrap-up ever. Uh, but, yeah, eight points for uh, Davidson with the largest lead, GW large lead was five points and it's one of these games look let me tell you um gw you have to give them a lot of credit because you always wonder when you play that style how patient will you be when you're in a game like this where you have to match baskets at times and they had a proper level of patience for them uh you want to get your stuff off schedule i felt like coach caputo just lets them be them now they didn't get out of control with it now i'm sure if they did um he would have called a timeout he would have calmed it down but for the most part, they ran their stuff when they needed off-schedule stuff, like when Bishop and those guys wanted to be aggressive. Um, they were able to be aggressive. Jacoy Hutchinson, and you're going to see a lot of highlights of the, of the dunk, but he gave them great minutes. Uh, he had 27 minutes. He had the nine points on three-for-three three shooting, two-for-two two, um, from, from three-point land, and all of those points and all of those minutes matter. Now, if there's one thing on GW today, obviously, you can't shoot eight for 20 from the free throw line. That's just something um, they've got to find a way to improve on. Now, um, the, the biggest uh, person that that kind of caused that, obviously, is Buchanan, who shot four for 12 um, from the free throw line today. Something he's wanted to work on. And Maximus Edwards, I don't think he's had the games with points that people uh, expected this season, especially with the development of Buchanan. But uh, nine points today and 13 rebounds. Talk about helping in other ways. So again, GW 83-79 win. They move to two and one in Atlantic 10. Davidson falls to 0 and three. This is Marcus Washington with NTC Media.